Hey guys, King here. So I was recently tagged in a uh, tag video from my friend over at the Co-op Life. Link to the channel to be in the description below. They are an awesome fat, an awesome channel. Hilarious, George and Mary. I'm sorry if I, I sound a little stuffy. Uh, my allergies are killing me and I'm like really sniffling. But yeah, they're an awesome channel. Hilarious, they do uh, hauls, fungal pop reviews. Unboxing, subscription box, this is all around awesome channel. Check them out. So they tagged me in this uh, kind of a questionnaire tag. Is actually it's a continuation of the Married to Fun Fun Five Five Fun Five Four Five tag. Thanks, Married to Fun, for making it such a fun. Fun tongue twisters. Their channel link will be down in the description below also. Check them out also. So it's a continuation of their questionnaire, of their tag. So they added five more questions. Uh, if you want to see my original five question tag, check the, the check the link uh, description below. I'll link the description, the video to the description below. So here we go. Question six. Uh, favorite game of all time. I would have to pick Metal Gear Cell on PlayStation 1. Um, yeah. I don't, guys, I don't know if you guys remember, but Metal Gear Cell uh, came, uh, the demo was came from Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut was doing a promotion for play, Metal Gear and PlayStation. They were sending out the demo disc of Metal Gear Cell with the Pizza Hut order. And that's how I got into Metal Gear, and at that time, that blew my mind with the cinematics, and the storytelling, the two disc, and like, just like fourth wall breaking, you get such a controller to a second point fighting Psycho Manus. Oh, it's crazy. So, that's my favorite game of all time, and that's spawned off to Metal Gear 2, Sons of Liberty. I, I personally think Sons of Liberty was a great game, the second one, but a lot of people hate it because you play as Raiden instead of Snake, but I think it was a genius idea, kind of trick with people. Anyway, back to this, back to the tag. Question seven: favorite movie of all time? Uh, huh. I don't know. I can't name. I, I, there's a that's a lot of movies that I lo I watched back in the day. Like not so much now, but I'll say the the one that sticks out to me right now. I like it's just kind of. Like, sticks out to me. It was, uh, I think, like Men in Black. Men in Black and George of the Jungle. <laughs> I am such a nerd and geek. Uh, so, what sticks out to me for uh, those two movies? Because, like, it's a su they're summer movies, and I remember riding my bikes to theater from my house. My house, it was like, I live maybe five blocks away from the theater. So, that was like me getting away from the house. From, Away from my parents, kind of like me time, <laughs> being like independent. So yeah, those like those are the movies that kind of sticks out to me. Those two movies. Question number eight: the most desirable collectible you would love to have. Uh, I will. I I think I mentioned this in my other videos. I would love to have the metallic green arrow Funko Pop, or even the regular one. This. I love those two pop, but right now I am obsessing over the nine inch Batman Funko Pop. It is so ridiculous big. I want it, I, and I can't get it because they don't make it, and it's so ridiculous. Like nobody want to sell it, or they want to sell it, but it's like all damage. Yeah, so I've been watching a lot of uh, YouTube videos on people that have it. I'm just like, God, I want it. So yeah. 9 inch Batman Funko Pop. Let's see, question number 9. What made you do YouTube? So, as you can see, I am not a uh, perfect speech person, I guess. <laughs> I, I, I go a uh, lot and mumble, mumble and stumble a lot over my word. Like, while I'm doing this, kind of help me get over that speech. Shyness, like I am very, I am a shy person, but like 
You can't, I don't know, you can't tell, I'm just talking to myself on the camera. But yeah, uh, beside that, it was just a decision that me and my wife made, like, we should, one of us should stay at home to watch Brie, and her being a, a restaurant nurse, and I'm, I'm being a chef, she makes way more money than I do. But, I mean, if you guys work in a bev if you guys know or work in a be food and beverage uh, business, especially behind the, behind the kitchen, we make shitty money. Even you and like, you're the top, top guy, which I was, you still don't make as much money as everybody else out there. That's just the way that you bust your ass, like, 16 hours a day, open to close. You still don't make as much money as you, like, everybody out there, so we decided that I should stay home watch Brie. And, like, I'm loving it, because because I'm not missing anything, like, the moments. Uh, I'm not miss really missing Brie's life, which I was, like, the first year of her life, because I was working the first year of her life, and I missed out a lot. So, back to the, back to the question. Question number 10. Most addicting things you do or eat. Most addicting thing? Hmm. I don't know. I don't think I'm the most addictive thing that I like to do or eat. Uh, I do have a pet peeve, but I'll save that for another video. For the 500 subscriber video. But, <laughs> I guess most addictive thing is, uh... I guess this, Funko Pops. Like, I get yelled at from Jules, tell me, stop buying them. So, it is addicting. So, yeah, it's like, yeah, this would be, this is a very addicting. This. But, that's, I try to control myself, only getting like the exclusive. And, the things I really want, like, not just to get, like, like, I got trunk over there, trunks over there, I'm trying to get Vegeta. That's two of my favorite characters. So yeah, uh, yeah. So beside that, very uh, thing to eat. Mm, uh, I don't know. I eat. Every, I, I eat everything. <laughs> but okay. So those are my five additional questions for the co-op life. Make sure you check the channel out in the description below. Thank you for your channel. Like, comment, subscribe. I also I set up a uh, Twitter if anybody want to follow me it's uh underscore Chinese five spice underscore someone took my name already so yeah that happened and as always thanks for watching bye.